I mean, but you know, I learned, right? Because you know, I got I gotta get my different languages on. So moving right along, um, th there has to be something too, right? Where within it, it's like, yeah, I'm in this to be here forever. You know, one of my worst years was about three years ago when. Um, I, we had all these different programs going on and people wanted to change the program so I went from 90 kids to about 150 kids and I was like alright no problem so you tell me I went from 90 kids to 200 kids <laughs> <sighs> okay so then I can retain my composure I said you know what this is the only way I'm going to be able to become a better teacher for every single one of those kids then I'll do it. I'll take all 150 of them. So in Washington Heights, look at, look at my one kid. Like, look in the back, like, ooh, look at me. So then, <laughs> that's one of my babies there. And, you know, I'm thinking about KRS-One. It's not about a salary. It's all about reality. <laughs> Teachers teach and do the world good. Kings just rule and most have never understood. Yes? And so um, I'm thinking about us as leaders. I'm thinking about as, us as leaders in the way that we approach this work. I have to emphasize for you that this matters not just for us, but for the kids that are in front of us. Because we have to take that seat at the table. Like, I know some of you are part of this advisory committee for the chancellor. Just take that seat. And then if you don't like that seat anymore, for whatever reason, like he offers you the wrong type of bagels, you got to make a whole new table. Go take that. Make <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm for real though. Go do that. And you know, the one, one of the ways that I did it in uh, administrations that weren't quite as friendly to teachers, um, I did it through my blog. I said, this is the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it through my own name. I first started with like a really anonymous name because I guess that's, that's culture, right? And they say, oh, so you can send your okay, so then I'm gonna send so then I, I got that new process, and I said, all right, I'm going to start writing about stuff. And, you know, I wrote about these things, and I started telling everybody, this is the way that I feel in my classroom. And everybody says, well, I love your political articles, but the ones about your kids were the most impactful for me right then and there. Yes, go do that. Um, I started getting a new audience through my book, This Is Not a Test, a new narrative on race, class, and education. If you're familiar, great. If you're not, please do. Um, the time, at the time I came out, I was one, the only one out of a possible, must have been 15 books that came out of education where I was, the, I was a current classroom teacher. Mm -hmm. When you go to Barnes & Noble, mm -hmm. you don't see us. You don't be seeing us. You be seeing all these other folks. We can love them. We can not like them and you know, all that other good stuff. But if they're not working with us, then what are you doing? Give us that room. Give us that space. And, you know, I started to see how all these different spaces were not hospitable to us. But when I published that book, you know, it came out um, and the book party was at the UFT. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Next morning, I was on a train to, um, I was on the train to the White House. What a blessing. You know, got to meet... Um, Dr. Joe Biden, who invited us, and for whatever reason, I got stuck in the middle. So I was like, oh, snap, I'm going to cheese hard. Like, That's like, I'm tall. I should be in the back. And they're like, okay, no problem. So I'm cheesing hard. Like, I, I'm sitting in, um, who was it, in Joe Biden's chair and his desk. And all of us, like, there's this big, wide table in front of this desk. So imagine this desk right here. And it's super clean. I'm like, how are you vice president and your desk is that clean? Like, I'm a teacher. I don't have that table. Right? So he's, there's this really big, wide table right in front of me. And all of a sudden, everybody's rising. I'm like, oh, snap. Why is everybody rising? I mean, thank you. But I'm not, the, you know, I'm not the secretary of education yet. And I turn around, and there's this really big, tall, white guy again being like, no, nah, you don't. You look good there. You don't have to move. Aww. Arnie Duncan, like, what are you doing? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of weird, but you know, I'm here and I'm talking policy. Like I'm bringing the issues that happen right here to their front door. I'm talking about issues of diversity of teacher leadership. Those are my two questions. I was like, I'm not going to talk about testing because they know how to shut that down, but they don't know how to shut down what we got going on over here. There's no way. So he had to answer to that and a blessing and an honor to represent so many of you. Um, also, I got to speak at South by Southwest EDU recently, and I want to say just a little something about that because it's not just about highlighting me. It's about highlighting the rest of you. Because let me tell you something. Somebody came up to me just after that and was like, you know, um, I want to thank you. I was like, why do you want to thank me? I just did a speech. Like, it's cool. I appreciate you. And she just goes, you know, my assistant principal came to see you a couple of years ago, and um, he heard you talk about social justice and how hard it is for teachers of color to get up there and, you know, sacrifice their job to have this conversation. And I just want to say thank you because uh, this is the first time that my assistant principal ever thanked me for doing what I do with my kids. Wow. Um, 
was like, so I can leave now. I'm done. Like, this is good. It's good enough. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is, it's not just about me. It's about we. It's about all of us. And every time that any one of us speaks, it's because we got everybody else in back of us, like the Verizon guy back in the day. Of course, it's just a but, you know, we'll talk about that. Um, there's this idea that we need to have this energy. We need to keep this energy going. And the ways that I inspire and want to aspire to have us create more energy is for us to do this, not because these things are easy, but because they are difficult. Because we know we have to wake up at 5.30 every morning, because we have to get there half an hour um, before the kids come in, at least half an hour, if not an hour. Because we know we have to have those lesson plans ready, or at least have them in mind, or at least have some sort of objective and flow. Um, <laughs> yo, and don't be snitching on me, because dinosaur will snitch, right? Um, I see y'all, all right? Um, I, I want to tell you too, right, that 